All that rain Kevin was just talking about is the reason of a tragic story out of Johnson County. A child swept away from his parents in flash flood waters. Four-year-old Lucas Warren's family was driving on County Road 528 when their car became trapped by severe flooding. NBC 5's Kenny Willers spoke with his mother, who says she's still trying to process this unthinkable loss. Chelsea Warren is struggling to understand how life will go on without Lucas. The four-year-old boy was her only child, a miracle baby who spent weeks in the NICU after he was born. Best. He's such a bright, sweet, amazing, amazing boy. Last night, Chelsea, her husband, and Lucas visited family at a home in Johnson County, setting out for home early this morning along this stretch of County Road 528. It had been raining hard, and the family says this area is prone to flooding. Usually there's a, a block in the road that says don't pass through there or has a sign that says flooding water, please turn around, and there was nothing. I saw that somebody else had gone through. The family tried to drive through water on the road, but it was surging too powerfully, and their car became trapped by the flood waters. Like, Car battery died, and then the car started filling up with water. So we grabbed Lucas out of his car seat. The family tried to escape the flooding on foot, but were swept off the road. Chelsea's husband was separated from them, and for more than an hour, she treaded water while holding on to Lucas, trying to keep his head above the current. And a current came up real high, and he just let go. And um, I didn't hear anything from him. I think he just went under. Johnson County rescuers arrived in a boat minutes later, taking Chelsea to the hospital. They searched for Lucas Warren for the next two hours. Then the sheriff showed up here and told me they found him and um, that he looked really peaceful and that he, all of his clothes weren't ripped. He looks like he just went to sleep and went under. Lucas drowned in the floodwaters three weeks before he was set to turn five years old. His mother says her family is still in shock and she'll never be the same. My everything. I can't sleep without him. I can't. I do everything with him. The incident took nearly everything. Chelsea and her husband also lost their car, their phones, and their wallets in the floodwaters. Just hours after being launched, a GoFundMe for the family has already raised more than $17,000. The family says they'll have to lean on their support system to make it through the months of grieving to come. Nothing's ever going to bring Lucas back. Nothing's ever going to fill that hole. But if I can have some time to process and not worry about how we're going to keep our house. I know we'll be okay at some point. It's just going to take a long time. Keenan Willard, NBC5. Hmm. Anyone who wants to support the family can find the link to the GoFundMe on our website alongside this story. NBC5, we also reached out to the Johnson County Office of Emergency Management to ask for a response to the family's concerns that the high water gates weren't used to block off the road where this incident happened. In a statement, the county says commissioner precincts generally close gates that might be on their roadways. That said, there had been no high water reported on that roadway until the call for rescue came in. It is referred to as a flash flood because it happens very quickly.